The pursuit of science is a lifelong passion in my case. To satisfy my curiosity, to find meaning in life, to find purpose in life. Good morning. Good morning. Fate intervened early in Herat Verme's life to provide his purpose in ways most unexpected and challenging. I was born in Sapamir, a small town in the province of Groningen in the Netherlands. This was right after the war. And um, very soon after my birth, it became clear that um, I couldn't see very well. And so I spent a good part of the first three years of my life in the hospital, getting operation after operation. Herat was diagnosed with childhood glaucoma and lost his sight at age three. Had they not intervened, it would have meant swelling of the brain. That's the main reason the, er the surgeon elected to remove the eyes. Losing his sight caused Hirat to focus on his sense of touch, and from that grew his fascination with the natural world. I don't remember a time when I wasn't curious about the outside world. My parents were both really avid natural historians. They loved nature. They described everything that I couldn't touch, and they let me touch just about anything. And so this enabled me to get to know the world, of course. And it's also satisfied my <laughs> curiosity. Beginning at about age 10, I started seriously collecting shells um, and uh, loving their scientific names and all the weird places they came from. And I was just enthralled. They were so elegant, so beautiful. Uh, such wonderful contrasts between the outsides and the insides and so on. The shapes were out of this world and uh, just a whole dimension of beauty I was unfamiliar with. It was a, a wonderful way to get into the, the real biology of, of living things and ultimately the history of living things. That passion led Hirat to a lifetime of study of these amazing shells. Today, he's a distinguished professor at UC Davis, whose work is recognized by researchers worldwide and by the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, which awarded him their prestigious Daniel Gerard Elliott Medal for Outstanding Work in Paleontology. Shells are basically perfectly designed to be touched and appreciated. The fact that they tell a story uh, about their own lives and about the lives of other organisms and ultimately uh, the geological past. I found it fascinating, and that's in a way the way science begins. You ask questions to which you may not have an answer. The skill of observation is completely central to what I do. And it is a skill, it is really something to be honed. And I don't mean just touching things, I mean listening and smelling and seeing. You examine something and there are always aspects of whatever you're looking at that you don't immediately understand. I don't think I could do the kind of science I do without that first critical step of observation and being puzzled by something. Herat believes that shells connect us to a living world stretching back hundreds of millions of years. He says they help us discover new insights into how all creatures influence each other's evolutionary fates. Shells, for me, are wonderful in their own right. Uh, I love them, I study them. For me, they, they are uh, a way of uh, approaching large questions about evolution, about ecology, about even about human history. So shells for me are, in a sense, a window on the world. I can look at a shell a hundred times and still see something new in it. <sighs> Herod hopes his deep curiosity will inspire others to search deeper and go beyond what can just be seen. The way I found meaning in life is to observe and to understand the world as perfectly as I can. And there is nothing deeper in life than to understand. <laughs>